Hi, my name is Tom, and we're going to do a fire today. But, well, a fire day. And first things first, we need to go over health and safety. So what you need is you need a supervising adult. And everything has to be around one metre to two metres away from you. And, um, bucket of water, yes. The most important thing of all in the health and safety is a marshmallow on a stick. So... First, what you need to do is to get a piece of paper. Hold on, hold on, let's talk about the little, the rack. Oh, yes, and there's the square that you need to keep it all compacted in and the raft. The raft is really important because it stops all the moisture being soaked up and making everything damp. Right, let's get going. Okay, what so did you have the paper shoved up your jumper? Um, yes, yeah, so I'll just keep it nice and dry. Right, so what you need to do is you need to get your big boom. And place it, make sure it's got little pockets. Not not too tight, yeah, so it's Leave got air. It, so it just, like, expands. But what does it need? Why does it need that, Tom? Because the fire circle has oxygen. Fire triangle. Fire triangle. Oxygen, heat, and fuel. So you need oxygen there. And then, as you can see over here, I've got everything from thick sticks to fairly thick to little thick and to snapping in an instant. So, we're going to get some of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to work from that way up. So from small to big to make it nice and dependent. So we squash it in. Try and keep it in on the left. And you pop it all in. A bit more, Tom, I think. Is, 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 oh, is that the lot? That's a lot. Okay. And then you get I think you need more, but never mind. Yeah. We need a few of these to pop inside. So they're slightly thicker, aren't they? Yeah, so and what the aim is to try and get it a bit like a house. But if you can't do that, whatever. <laughs> and then to the next big sticks. Sorry. Getting thicker now. I think you're doing a great job. I'm trying to put it out evenly on all the sides. Otherwise, when you light it, it'll just burn out all the paper and nothing will catch. Yes, because fire goes up, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes and, up. And, and an, another good tip is your fire needs to be as high as it is wide. So if it's a flat fire, it probably won't work. If it's too tall, it won't work. Almost to fit in a square. Yeah, and that's the fire built. And what I'm going to be doing, you can use matches, but because matches are very easy, I'm going to be using some fire stickers, but I can't remember the name, and that's going to be a lot of space in for now. So, you get your cotton wool, you place it in. P puff them up a bit to get some air in. Yeah, puff them up to get some air in. And... You don't know how to use a fire steel. Looks a bit like this. You get it at a 90 degrees angle of it, and then you strike. Sometimes they do need a bit of warming up. So you just give it a bit. This one must be new. It's a new one. There you go, see? sparks start coming now. See how it's nice and warmed up, sometimes you get those big sparks that you want. And now I normally, to find it easier, I place the end so that so the sparks go more direct into the cotton wool. But it's always touching the paper, otherwise what's the point? It'll just burn out and you'll just be watching cotton wool. And then you give it. See there you go. Let's touch button. Make sure it is going to touch the paper. So if you, so there you go, and it's caught up on the paper now. And hopefully the paper will catch on the sticks. And there you go. And um, keep on like putting sticks on because you want it going. And if it ever starts going down, 
thing is, don't put more sticks on. It may sound ridiculous, but you need to blow on the embers of the fire to make it go up again. To start it from. That's making a lot of fire. It's good, isn't it? Good yeah. fire. Do you want to put your marshmallow on then, babe? <laughs> Give everybody a wave, Tom. Hi. Thanks, Tom. My name is Tom. <laughs> oh, no, it's going out. Oh. What are you going to do? Okay, guys, so remember, be safe. Make sure you've got your grown-up your water, a nice space around you, um, and stay safe, okay? Put and any your marshmallow. And your marshmallow. You're all right. Bye. Just wave, Tom. Bye. So we just forgot to um, tell you a few more things about fires. So when you're cooking your marshmallow, make sure, like, if it catches on fire, you need to keep on blowing it very thoroughly, going... And when you are finished with your marshmallow, always make sure, just be sure, always blow it for ten, ten times. So, one, and yeah, so on and so forth. So, and also, when you're done, make sure you tip the, the, the bucket of water over your fire, because animals and siblings and things can think it's just white wood. Never, n never leave it un unattended. Yes. Good boys will listen. <laughs> never leave it unattended and put it out thoroughly with your water, okay, with help from your grown up. But never leave it unattended is what you wanted to say, wasn't it, Tom? Okay. Time to have another <laughs> Happy cooking.